Hi and welcome back to Love English. In today's lesson, I want to give you the opportunity to practice your English speaking skills. I want to help you practice your pronunciation, intonation and fluency in English. Yes, today you and I are going to have a short conversation. I've prepared a dialogue, a short script for us to read together, for you to listen and imitate my voice, my intonation, my pronunciation, and for us to interact essentially through YouTube. Now, this is a conversation that I have written based on two friends or two acquaintances meeting by chance or bumping into each other and having a quick short catch up, a short chat just to see what each other has been doing. So it's a short dialogue, but one that is filled with some really great vocabulary. You can find a glossary of the terms and a new vocabulary down in the description box below. And you will also find a link to www.elcuk.co.uk where you'll find information and support to help you book a course in the UK should you wish to practice your conversation skills even further. So if you've been dreaming of coming to the UK and studying for quite some time, you'll be surprised at just how affordable it can be. Get in contact with us to learn more. For now, let's get on with the conversation. Imitation, intonation and pronunciation. Are you ready? So below you'll see my dialogue come up on the screen and then yours will be there to respond. Are you ready? Hey, Sabra, fancy bumping into you here. Oh, you know, same old really. I've been pretty busy lately. And you? Sure, I'd love to. I'm in no major hurry. There's a great coffee shop round the corner. So what have you been up to lately? Wow, that's great. I'm so pleased for you. Actually, I've been applying to a few new companies. I just need a new challenge. I've got a job interview next week, so we'll see how it goes. Fingers crossed, it's better pay and closer to home, so the commute would be shorter, if I get it. Yeah, I'd love to. Just text me when you're free and we can go to that little Italian place. Great. Look, I better get back to the office. They're expecting me. I've got a meeting in half an hour. You too. I look forward to catching up properly next week. Take care. Okay, so how was that? This time we're going to reverse the roles, so you'll be starting first. And instead of saying Sabra, you can say Layla. Yeah, so great to see you. It's been a while. How's things? I know what you mean. I've been rushed off my feet at work. I've been meaning to call you actually. Are you in a rush or have you got time to grab a quick coffee and catch up? Great, let's go. I can do with a break from the office. Well, I got a promotion at work. It's a great position, but I'm just getting to grips with the new role. What about you? How are things at work?
I'm sure you'll get it. With your qualifications, they'd be crazy not to hire you. Sounds great. A shorter commute makes all the difference. Look, why don't we get together for lunch? Next week, maybe, when we've got a bit more time. Oh yeah, I love that restaurant. I'll check my diary and drop you a line later to let you know when I'm free. No worries, it was great seeing you. Me too, can't wait. See ya. And there we have it. I hope you've enjoyed practicing your conversation skills with me. Do take that dialogue, I'll put a copy of it in the description box below, and practice with your friends. Practice makes perfect, and reading a dialogue can sometimes give you a little bit more confidence when it comes to practicing your English. Do let me know how you get on, and if you would like more lessons like this, comment below. Perhaps you'd like a dialogue in a more formal setting, or even in a particular situation, at the airport, in the office, at the doctor's, just comment below and let me know. Thank you so much for chatting with me and I look forward to seeing you very soon. Bye.